Okay, so this is not a box of greenies. Uh, I don't even know what greenies are. And uh, this is a new arrival for me here. And I just got this. Um, the guy who had them before me was disappointed in their size. So he thought they were going to be bigger. And so he decided to sell them to me. And well, he decided to sell them and I decided to buy them. <clears throat> so I got them now. And they are pretty neat. And why he thought they were too small, I do not understand because these things are huge. So, okay, you're not coming up. Come up. So that is a giant hermit crab. Uh, my hands probably don't do it justice, but um, put something. This is an iPhone 6 Plus. You can see it just barely fits on there. Oh, there he is coming out a little bit. Don't want him to scratch up too much. Um, but yeah, that is pretty awesome. Oh, he's really coming out. This shell might even be a little bit too big for him. Ooh, he poked me. Alright, I gotta let him down. He's poking me with his legs and they're kind of sharp. So we've got three of them. They're all, re they're all relatively the same size. Oh, wow, he came really far out. We got to see him. We got to see his uh, his little um, abdomen there. So <clears throat> I'll put him down and let him crawl around a little bit. And this guy it's not letting go. Come on. Well, he won't let go, so. You guys are running off too, huh? So I got a deal on all three of them. Um, and uh, I couldn't pass it up. I think they're pretty cool. No, I don't know what species they are exactly. I know one of the there's there are nine species of completely terrestrial hermit crabs, and one is the biggest. Obviously, there's the biggest. Uh, I don't know if this is that species, but uh, I would be alarmed at a larger hermit crab than these. And I've seen them every once in a while. You see them sometimes at the shore. In the on the boardwalks at this size, but um, well, actually, I've never seen any at this size. But you see them at larger sizes, and they're usually pretty expensive. And these were pretty expensive, but I felt like it was worth it. And uh, you you just don't see them; they're pretty rare. And um, so I figured I'd take them, see what happens, see what I can, if I can do anything with them. Uh, I don't really plan to breed them. I, I've read a little bit about the breeding habits of hermit crabs and, and it's pretty complicated. I don't think that I would get any success out of it. But, you never know. Maybe I'll try it sometime in the future. I don't know what I'm going to do when they get bigger though, if I need bigger shells. Because these shells are... I don't know where you'd find them. Conch shells, I guess. I guess that's what they are. Anyway, that's the new arrivals here. Unboxing of the giant hermogriffs. And man, are they big. I would not want to be bit or pinched by this guy. I'm gonna give him a close up. I can feel the uh, legs touching me. And they're strong and sharp. And he's tickling me a little bit. 
So that's their inside there. Their little tail. That's the soft part. Almost like a caterpillar. Kind of what it looks like. But that is one large hermit crab. I'll show you a picture here. I'll, I'll put a picture of a normal size hermit crab. Oh, go back in. He's barely afraid. So that's the that's this guy, and then I'll put a picture of a normal size one so you can see the difference, the comparison. It's pretty pretty crazy.